Well, uh, good afternoon. Thank you all for joining us uh, today. I'm pleased to be joined by County Supervisor Diane Jacob, who's going to be joining us via telephone, as well as Phil's, Phil Pace, the owner of Phil's Barbecue. Um, today I'd like to provide a couple of updates. First, an accelerated plan to reopen up our economy uh, that will get businesses up and running and people back to work. Uh, and second, I'll continue to highlight the great work that San Diegans are doing to step up during this very great time of need. Uh, but topic number one, and probably the most important topic that we have been uh, talking about over the last several uh, days and weeks, which is how to safely reopen our economy. Um, we have talked a lot about how San Diego is ready to recover. Business owners are ready to open their doors again safely. Customers are ready to go outside again safely. And San Diegans are ready to earn a paycheck again safely. Um, we've been planning for the how we will approach this new normal. What we have been waiting for is the when. Um, the city of San Diego has taken a number of steps to safely and responsibly reactivate our local economy. We opened up beaches, of course, in a coordinated approach devised by public safety and approved by our public health officials. Uh, and that approach has become a model for safely to reopen beaches all across the state. We convened the Recovery Advisory Group, a group of diverse business uh, associations all throughout the county uh, to really help create guidelines on how businesses can safely reopen in this new normal. Uh, and we have urged the governor to rethink the metrics um, that the state established for counties to accelerate reopening. Uh, last week, County Board Chairman Supervisor Cox and I wrote a letter to the governor. Um, and we said that the state's requirements then were unrealistic. They didn't make sense for a vast majority of counties throughout California, including ours here, San Diego County. Uh, and today, one week after our letter, uh, we got some good news. Uh, the governor has heard our call for change. The state has released a new set of criteria that acknowledge the work that counties like San Diego have been doing to successfully fight COVID-19. Uh, our San Diego County Public Health Officer, Dr. Wooten, uh, confirmed this afternoon that we qualify under the guidelines set forth by the governor today. And if counties meet these requirements, they can move to the second stage of the state's phased reopening strategy. That would allow us here in San Diego to take the next big step, which includes in-person dining at restaurants and in-person retail in the near future. Um, this is a step in the right direction. And it finally gives cities and counties more leeway as they lead efforts to reopen at the local level. Um, it's good news, and I believe we have the opportunity to go even further. I will be requesting that the governor grant San Diego County the ability to pilot the opening of certain stage three economic sectors that would safely reopen businesses like barbershops and hair and nail salons. Tomorrow, the County Board of Supervisors will vote on an accelerated reopening plan for our San Diego region. And I've already spoken with Chairman Greg Cox about including this phase three pilot proposal in the vote. This couldn't come at a better time. Our small businesses, owners, have been preparing, making a lot of plans, and they are ready to go. Um, today I had the opportunity to visit Phil's Barbecue in Rancho Bernardo. Uh, Phil's Barbecue is putting in place new dine-in safety measures um, as they prepare to safely reopen to the public, including signage and sanitation, training and education physical distancing, and limited occupancy. Phil is taking every precaution to protect his employees and his customers. Um, and now it's our opportunity really to give Phil and other business owners the opportunity to pro put those protections in place and open up safely and responsibly. Uh, we're going to hear from Phil in just a minute. Uh, but first, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, via telephone uh, County Supervisor Diane Jacob, um, who has been a tremendous leader uh, at the County Board of Supervisors in terms of our ability to help 
have the flexibility in San Diego County to open safe and to open responsibly. Supervisor Jacob, thank you for all of your hard work and your leadership, and thank you for joining us this afternoon. Well, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Appreciate your leadership and your partnership with the county in particular. The way I see it, from our beaches to the backcountry, San Diegans are showing again and again that we can do the right thing, and we are doing the right thing. And we've demonstrated great resilience, patience over the last couple of months, and San Diegans have done their part. The county has also done its part. And rather than having our hospitals overrun with a huge jump in cases, we have flattened the curve. We have adequate hospital capacity, at least for the time being. The testing continues to increase in that ratio between positive and the total test is in a downward trend. It's run at about 4% on average, even where we're seeing some, it's just 3% positives out of the total number of tests, which is increasing. So it's good news. In terms of the economy, and that's what we want to talk about today, we got some really good news, as you indicated, from the governor. The governor is listening to San Diego County, paying attention to our calls for more flexibility at the local level, more local control, working our, with our local health officials. And in response, he's loosened restrictions, making it easier for businesses to reopen. Not all, but some of them. And this will apply to San Diego County, and that's going to be double confirmed with the state later on this evening we can, we believe, meet this new criteria. The governor also made another welcome announcement. We all knew in the large counties, <clears throat> excuse me, there was no way we could say at any point in time there were not going to be any deaths in 14 days. That's impossible for a large county. Uh, we're never going to be 100%. There are some risks, but it's time now to open up our economy and our businesses. So while we're hearing a lot of encouraging news, I still firmly believe that we need to keep pushing on the governor to have total local control over the decisions related to the COVID-19 and the business reopenings. And until that happens, we're going to be working very aggressively as we had with the governor to position our region so that we're ready to open more businesses and services as safely and quickly as possible. And that's why I strongly support the accelerated plan going to the Board of Supervisors tomorrow. That, that plan has a lot of detail in it. It looks, from what I've been briefed, it looks really good. And in addition to that, we're going to have a pilot. Providing the Board supports it, and I think it will be a 5-0 vote, <clears throat> We will be expanding the type of businesses that will be allowed to reopen. And a, a, a pilot, uh, I don't know if the governor is going to approve it, but again, this plan is going to have to be sent to the governor, the accelerated plan, and then also the pilot. And we believe if we can get approval that we will be able to give the, the signal, the green light to many of those businesses that have been shut down to reopen this week, maybe some within 24 hours. Ramping up the economy, though, is not going to happen overnight. It's going to demand patience as folks figure out where they feel comfortable and safe doing business. But I do have confidence and a lot of trust in our businesses and the people in San Diego County that we can open up again and we can do it safely. Uh, safety guidelines are key, and I think businesses are ready. I've talked to a lot of them myself. They have the protocols in place. Again, Mayor, I, I want to thank you so much for being such a strong leader on behalf of the city of San Diego, on behalf of the region, and a very strong partner with the county moving forward. I think more than ever before, it is so, so important for us to be together to be together, not only as a Board of Supervisors, as, as the City of San Diego, all the cities, all the people in the region, to really do what we feel is best for San Diego. So again, and I think we all know this, this crisis has taken a brutal toll 
on our region, on our economy. It's like nothing any of us have ever seen or lived through before. But I have great hope for the future. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Supervisor. I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, thank you and all the members of the Board of Supervisors for working so closely together, showing that united front. Uh, and as you just said, a Supervisor, trusting our small businesses and San Diegans to do the right thing in all of the preparations that they have made. Uh, you'll have my full support uh, for tomorrow's actions uh, at the Board. Um, so thank you. Thank you again to all of the members of the Board of Supervisors. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I did have the opportunity to go uh, firsthand out in uh, Rancho Bernardo uh, earlier uh, this morning to see the, uh, the remarkable work that uh, Phil has done with Phil's Barbecue, ready to safely reopen for in-dining restaurants. Uh, and I think that can be put across the board for other restaurants and, of course, for many other small businesses that are ready uh, to safely reopen. Phil? Uh, thank you for taking the time that you took this morning, and uh, please come on up and, and share a few words. Thank you, Mayor Faulkner. Uh, of course, you guys all know I'm Phil Pace, from the owner of Phil's Barbecue. Uh, based off the governor's uh, press conference, there is a, a light at the end of the tunnel, which we've been looking for in a while, and to get these restaurants back open. Health and safety have always been a priority for both my customers and for my employees. We are here at Rancho Bernardo location earlier today, and we were able to demonstrate what in-person dining would look like with the new protocols in place. Keep everyone safe, visible signage, decals, markers on the floors, give people a pathway so they don't run into each other, and also the training and the education of the employees. I'm excited to get my employees back to work bring it back to some normalcy, somewhere where they can get back into their normalcy and enjoy their life, not just at work, but at home. This is not about profits. It's about getting our employees back to work. It's, it's about saving, excuse me, it's about serving great food to our community safely and responsibly. And this is not all about us. I want to also mention the other small businesses. I want them to have an opportunity if the governor is giving us an opportunity to open up tomorrow, he's got to look at all some of these other smaller businesses because we all can't do it alone. We've got to do this all together. So this is the step in the right direction, and that's about all I can say. We just need to get San Diego back open and back to work. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Phil, and, and thank you again to uh, uh, all of your employees who, uh, who were out there uh, uh, this morning and all the preparations that, that you've made. Um, can't wait to get you all uh, back open. Uh, last topic today, our continued efforts to highlight San Diegans who continue to step up uh, during this great time of need. Uh, today we've been discussing, how, obviously, how businesses have changed their operations for this new normal, uh, but we know that there are countless San Diegans still struggling to make ends meet. Uh, the owners of one local restaurant, it's called Common Stock in Hillcrest, uh, saw, of course, that their industry had been hit uh, very hard. Many servers, bartenders, and other staff um, just really, you know, had found their doors to their, their establishments closed. Um, and so, like many restaurants, Common Stock uh, has bolstered online ordering uh, and delivery options for customers. Um, they also turned servers and bartenders into delivery drivers in order to keep everyone employed. Uh, the owners, uh, Brian and Anderson, uh, wanted to show their support uh, for their fellow hospitality workers. So they donated more than 600 meals uh, to laid off or struggling restaurant workers over the past couple months, uh, which started a generous donation, but then grew thanks to San Diegans who donated via their website. Um, they've also been able to donate meals to the frontline workers like our hospital staff uh, and local women's crisis shelters. Uh, and they partnered with Feeding San Diego to help identify those who are food insecure, to help expand the support that they can give uh, to their community. So thank you, Brian and Anderson, uh, for stepping up uh, for so many San Diegans in need. Uh, before I wrap up, I want to continue to encourage everyone, let's continue to do our part in San Diego. Set that example for the rest of the state. We do not and we will not give up the gains 
uh, that we have made. Let's continue to do the right thing. Uh, I cannot wait for some of these uh, new policies to take effect. San Diegans are ready to do the right thing. And with that, I will pause for any questions from any members of the media. And today's first question comes from Lori Weisberg with the Union Tribune. Hello, Lori. Hi there. Um, can you hear me okay? I can, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just, um, things are happening really quickly based on what the governor said today and then the county board of supervisors action tomorrow. So are you looking at, number one, restaurants opening, reopening as quickly as within the next few days by this weekend? And then second, my understanding is that the local California Restaurant Association chapter has been working with county health on the kinds of yes. local regulations that there would be in place for when they open, kind of paralleling or slightly different maybe from what uh, the governor uh, issued, like a 11 or 12 page um, set of guidelines about a week ago. So so how I'm just trying to get a sense. Is this really quick that it's ramping up within just a matter yeah. of days for these yeah, could, reopenings of dine-in service? Yes, uh, that could be. Of course, that'll be uh, determined by the uh, determination from the public health officer that we meet those requirements. Uh, but Dr. Wooten did indicate earlier today that we do. Uh, Supervisor Jacob just said that I think that final, um, uh, all of the, the final paperwork should be uh, very uh, forthcoming. Uh, to the second part of your question, um, yeah, I'm really proud of the work that the local uh, San Diego chapter of the California Restaurant Association has been doing. They were part of our economic recovery uh, advisory group. Um, and so all of the things that we had in that group that were forwarded to the state, forwarded to the governor's office, I think has informed uh, a lot of the potential changes that you will see in restaurants. Um, and that's a good thing um, because as, as Phil, who was demonstrated today very well at Phil's, who was a member of the Restaurant Association, it's done with, with really one overarching goal. How do we ensure we protect our employees and the safety of our customers? Uh, that's what every restaurant has to do. And so all of these guidelines that were developed by the restaurateurs themselves, the folks that have been you know, working in this industry, have been working with our county public health on issues of food safety for decades. They're the ones best equipped to, to meet these requirements and standards. And so I'm very optimistic that many of our restaurants will be able to meet in-dining requirements very, very quickly in a matter of days. And the next question comes from Laura Acevedo with 10 News. Hello, Laura. Hi, Mayor. Thanks for taking my question. Sure. My question is about the pilot program that you mentioned, um, hoping to accelerate phase three a little bit. Yeah. Can you specify on what those guidelines would look like? Yeah. Um, and how soon are you presenting this to the state? It's actually the, uh, the Board of Supervisors will be uh, addressing this tomorrow. And as Supervisor Jacob just indicated, uh, we think we have a real opportunity because of the uh, the great work that San Diegans have done, uh, not only have met those stand these new standards for phase two, but to really pilot those opportunities uh, to go further. Uh, as Phil was just talking about, so many small businesses that aren't open yet uh, that should have that ability if they meet these safety criteria. So that will be uh, part of the issue that the county board will be looking at tomorrow. It will have uh, my full support because, again, I, I think when you have uh, everybody working uh, together, and all of these safety requirements, what better county in California than San Diego County uh, that we have shown our ability to really step up uh, and do a great job, whether we're talking about the beaches, the parks, or other businesses, to show how we can pilot uh, other businesses now that have not been given the green light, but to show that we can do it uh, successfully and safely in San Diego. So again, this is, I think, the right track that the board uh, will be considering tomorrow. And the Board of Supervisors will have my full support uh, as they work through this in conjunction uh, with our county public health officials. I think it's the right approach. I think it's common sense. And I think what you're seeing is our county has been very forward uh, leaning, looking at how do we have some very clear metrics that folks can understand, that folks can follow, um, and that we can all monitor. And I think that's the approach that will allow us to continue to have the success uh, that we have in San Diego, that we do not take for granted, uh, and that we will work, as I said earlier, to ensure that we keep these gains and don't go backwards. And next I'll read the question from Guillermo Mendez with Univision. Uh, his question is, can you explain uh, what the timeline for opening phase three will look like? 
Uh, phase three is obviously still going to be up to the, uh, the governor. Uh, one of the things that will likely be uh, talked about tomorrow at the county board is, is there an opportunity, as Supervisor Jacob just mentioned, to have a pilot program here in San Diego County for some of those businesses that are not in that criteria yet? I'm very optimistic that we can do that. Uh, and I think, again, everything that we are doing in San Diego County has been based on data, has been based on health, uh, and San Diegans have responded accordingly. I think that's a real hallmark for how our cities and how our counties are working closely together. And the next question comes from Kasha Grigorczyk with Fox 5. Hello, Kasha. Hello, Mayor. I'm actually wondering if uh, Supervisor Jacob could potentially elaborate on some of those key requests for the accelerated plan that will be voted on tomorrow. And um, also wondering if she could maybe add which businesses might see that potential of being approved within just 24 hours. I know she mentioned that was a possibility. If we could hear some more on that. Uh, I don't know if Supervisor Jacobs is still on the phone or, or not. Um, but if she's not, um, I will just reiterate the, um, um, I think. I'm, I'm here. Oh, hello, Supervisor. I don't, yep, know, if you, I don't know if you heard still, the question. I'm still here. Okay. Huh. <laughs> yeah, the, de the details of the accelerated plan will be presented at the board tomorrow. Basically, it includes the expansion of the stage two that, was re that the governor had laid out. And the pilot that we're talking about really it, it inches into stage three, so we're, we're stretching it. It's a very aggressive plan, not just the accelerated, accelerated plan that we'll have before us, but also the pilot. So I, I just urge you all to tune into the board meeting for all of the details. But what I have been told, that if we get the green light and the accelerated plan could open, could open as soon as 24 hours later, which could mean Wednesday. And if we get approval from the rest, I mean, we're, we could be talking the end of this week. So it's very aggressive. We're not just sending the plan to the governor, but we're sending some dates that we are recommending to have a reopening. Excellent. Thank you, Supervisor. Um, I think that was our last question for members of the media. Again, uh, to Supervisor Jacob and all the members of the board, um, our ability to move uh, expeditiously and safely, I think, is uh, just one of the tremendous benefits that we are continuing to see in our region. So I'm looking forward to uh, showing my support tomorrow uh, for that action. San Diegans are ready to safely reopen. Phil, thank you, sir, for all of the work at Phil's Barbecue. Uh, and with that, that will conclude today's briefing. Um, and I look forward to seeing everybody tomorrow. Thank you.